Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Have you ever heard about anomalous hunting, exclusive traps, or outstanding and uncommon yet well-planned defense strategies of animals? I am sure not. So stay with us to discover the strangest animal behaviors caught on camera. Shooting fish. Some species of fish have adapted very eccentric methods of hunting. Take a look. Archerfish boasts an unusual talent as it hunts by spitting powerful streams of water out of its gun-like mouth at an unsuspecting above-water insect. The fish hovers underwater, waiting for prey to come into view. And then it contracts its gill covers and artificially forces water into its mouth. The instant stream of shooting water stuns and dislodges the prey down, and the archerfish waits eagerly to scoop it up. Due to this unique hunting technique, this fish is often dubbed Spitting Sharpshooter. Dolphins Mud Nets When it comes to fishing, dolphins prove themselves more intelligent than humans. They don't even need a net. This is how they do it. A Mud Ring Trap this technique involves one dolphin from the pack kicking its tail near the sea floor to build up a mud ring. The prey gets trapped in the blinding ring and tries to escape the circle, but as it breaks through the water, the fellow dolphins pounce on it. It might have taken them hundreds of thousands of years to adopt this hunting method, as according to marine biologists, the impact of climate change on the world's oceans may be detrimental to their hunting methods. Blood Shooting Lizard Self-defense is nature's eldest law. This short-horned lizard is found in deserts and semi-arid environments and has adapted a very unique self-defense strategy. In order to ward off hungry predators, it is capable of inflating its body up to twice its size. And if this proves insufficient, some species employ one of the most bizarre defensive mechanisms. It shoots blood from its eyes. The ominous, squirting blood emanates from ducts in the corners of its eyes and can travel a distance up to three feet. It's meant to confuse would-be predators, but also contains a chemical that is noxious to dogs, wolves, and coyotes. Myotonic Goats Kneeling goats with frozen bodies and stiff legs. Don't worry, the goats aren't passing out from fear. But then, what is really going on with them? Let me explain. This strain of livestock is called myotonic goats, or fainting goats, and they got their name from a genetic condition called myotonia congenital, which causes their muscles to briefly stiffen after they are startled. In short, it is a response to the fear that leaves the muscles rigid. Although the animal becomes unable to move, it never loses consciousness and comes back to a normal state only after 5 to 20 seconds. Pistol Shrimp Its bubbles are louder than a gun, hotter than lava, and faster than a bullet. It has, in fact, a high-speed underwater weapon. It's the Pistol Shrimp. Known as snapping shrimp, they shoot strange bubbles to smash prey. They have no need for a fancy holster. Their gun is built right into their one oversized claw that can grow to be half the size of their tiny body. As the shrimp open their snapper claw, water fills the small crook. Upon closing the claw with impressive force, a plunger-like piece shoots the water out at a very high speed. This creates a powerful bubble that not only smashes what's in its path, but creates a ridiculously loud sound when it pops. Sleeping Sperm Whales During your diving expedition, if you ever notice a pod of still whales drifting in their upright postures, don't freak out, as you'll be witnessing one of the rarest sights in the ocean, sleeping sperm whales. These mammals sleep with one eye open, one half of their brain awake and suspending their body in a vertical position with their head closer to the surface of the water. They do so to control breathing, 
and also to avoid predators. The phenomenon is called unhemispheric slow-wave sleep, and whales around the world spend only 7% of their time asleep, which is less than any other mammal. Spitting Camelidae Camelids are sweet animals, but won't hesitate to spit at you. They spit for several reasons. A female uses this behavior to tell a male she's not interested in him, and both genders use it to keep competitors away from food. Spitting is also used to warn an aggressor away. They usually do not spit on people, but if their ears are pinned back and they're staring at you, then avoid eye contact and act non-threatening because they will first regurgitate their stomach contents, blow out some air and saliva, and then make a little <sighs> noise that could be 10 feet away. Scent Stealing Squirrel When it comes to self-defense, the squirrel does not hold back. It can cheat its reptilian predators by stealing its scent. These clever rodents have been seen applying snake scents to themselves by picking up pieces of shed snakeskin chewing it, and then licking their fur. Rubbing the shed skin helps to mask the squirrel's own scent and cheat predators. Snake scent application is one of a remarkable package of defenses that squirrels use against rattlesnakes. Heating Honeybees Scientists have discovered a genetic switch in the honeybee's brains that turns on during the attacks. A remarkable defense, cooking the hornets alive because when the hornets go and rob honeybee colonies, the bees have no chance other than this. When a hornet enters the hive of Japanese honeybees, hundreds of bees can respond by forming a ball around the invader. The bees work in unison and vibrate to produce heat, raising the temperature, like a tiny oven, to over 115 degrees. Honeybees can survive the heat, but the hornet cannot. And after up to an hour of cooking, the hornet dies. Snake Self-Destruction This might be confusing and horrifying at the same time to see this elongated, limbless, and carnivorous reptile in such a bizarre condition. This kind of self-destruction of a snake is due to stress or anxiety. And if it gets stressed, it would not hesitate to eat itself. Its inability to thermoregulate efficiently will also force it to finish itself. Sometimes this instinct to eat is survival-based, because due to being overheated, the snake will not be able to distinguish its own body from the environmental temperature. Therefore, it will see a twitching tail as prey. Confused, overheated, stressed, and with a sense of hunger, the snake will bite into its own tail, devouring itself. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Are you curious about this picture? Well, take it easy, as it's not something very strange. In fact, it's quite normal. Many snakes consume eggs as part of their diet, but only Daisy Peltis diet consists entirely of eggs. They gave up on their fangs and venom to eat eggs. They use their flexible jaws to open their mouths wide enough to intake an egg. The snake then cracks the egg by pressing it against bones in its vertebra and drinks the contents of the egg and regurgitates the pieces of the shell. While not every snake species eats eggs, some species survive solely on eggs, and some other species fall in the middle, only eating them occasionally. Starling Murmurations What are they? And why do these hypnotic gatherings form? These are nature's true spectacles, Starling Murmurations, a huge group of migratory birds that twist, turn, swoop, and swirl across the sky in beautiful, shape-shifting clouds. According to ornithologists, this synchronized movement helps the birds find food and create a defense mechanism against birds of prey which usually try to hunt individual birds and rarely attack big flocks. The displays not only help with protection from predators, but offer warmth during cold nights. Remoras. Dental hygiene is important, even for sharks. So before this one can show off its pearly whites, 
It's time for a day at the underwater dental station. Many would assume that the shark would take advantage of the moment to score a free meal by chomping down on the incoming fish. But just the opposite happens. It's the remoras, the cleaner fish, a group of suckerfish known to hitchhike on larger animals that, in exchange for temporary room and board, keep their hosts devoid of parasites, dead skin, and food scraps. So, sharks let tiny remoras clean their teeth. See you next time!